Hi everyone! So I have a quick little tutorial that I want to share with you guys. I have been playing with the Dollar Tree Robons. Now let me show you what I put together here. How stinking cute are these? This is all Dollar Tree items. Oh no, sorry, the beads are not. So this little vial is from Dollar Tree. This is the rub on for Dollar Tree. And then these little skulls are from BB Crafts. So I put that one together. This is another little cork vial from Dollar Tree with the Dollar Tree rub on. Here are the little tiny ones. So Dollar Tree and Dollar Tree rub on. Here is another one. I think this one is my favorite. Isn't she so pretty? I love the way that one looks. Here is one of the little ones with a little ghosty. And you still get quite a little bit of beads in there. I think I could technically fit another one or two more little skull beads in there. This one I did fill to the max. I couldn't get any more in there. Then there's this little tombstone one. I really like the ones with the corks. I think those look really cool. There's this one. So I messed up and I realized that once you lay the rub on on to the jar, that's where it's going to stay. If you try to lift it back up, it is going to rip your rub on transfer. So make sure you have it centered and exactly the way you want it before you actually put it down to the glass. So that was my mistake. So that's why it's got the crack there. But then I actually kind of liked it with the crack. And then here is the last little one that I made right here. So we're going to make one together. So I saved the packs that I had. These were from my stash. I've bought them plenty of times. So these are the little mini ones. Seven piece. Those are the ones with the corks right there. And then I have... These right here are the little tiny ones, and that's what those look like. And then these are the four-piece ones right here. And then here are the rub-on transfers, and this is what I have left over. After making my ATC cards, I'm making these little bottles. So let's see which one are we going to use. Oh, I know which one I want to use. I want to use this one right here. So let's see what size bottle will work best. Probably the larger one. Let's see. Oh yeah, see that one will look cute. So that's kind of how I just measured was I was laying them over. Oh, that one will work too. So I was just laying them over to see, you know, how it would kind of look like. So that's how I was figuring it out. I think I'm going to go for this one. I think I really like that one. Yep, I'm going to go for this one right here. So let's go ahead and cut that one out. Now you could do it either way. You could go ahead and cut the little clear see this is a little clear piece right here and the white piece you can cut them together to get out your piece or like I did right here where I just cut the little clear part either way you want to do it is fine just don't touch the backing of it because the backing is sticky so you don't want to mess that up or mess up your image when you're cutting so it's probably better to just cut it with the white part but I mean you do whatever works for you. As you can see, I do them either way. It just kind of depends on what my mood is that day. And then just carefully go around the image. And um, like I said, don't touch the back sticky part. And then don't cut out your image as well. Like you don't want to cut through one of the other side images. So like this one, I'm just going to go ahead and then press that back down on there so then now I have these little dots that I could use for another project oh and the other thing I was doing was I was cleaning these off oh dang I didn't bring I was just using like a cotton ball and some alcohol you know just to go ahead and rub them um to make sure that it was nice and clean so okay I'm not gonna get up to go get my alcohol we are just going to wing it I am going just go ahead and wipe it on down on my pajama pants that I'm wearing right now. It's like, when I'm at home, I don't wear like jeans. As soon as I get home, I jump into some yoga pants or some PJ pants. Like, I get nice and comfy once I get home. So, we want to go ahead and line this up. What I'm going to do is 
I'm gonna hold it this way so I can kind of see make sure that is centered where I like because like I said once you lay it down that's where it's going to stay see so like I can't really pull this off and adjust it it is a little bit crooked it's harder to try to do this through the phone because that's what I used to record is just my phone that might not be too bad actually I thought it was crooked but it's not too too bad and then all that I did was I took my scissors so you want to hold the plastic part like this little top sheet you want to hold it down so that way when you're rubbing it won't slide around because if you did miss a spot you can go ahead and fix it and all that you do is you lay it back down and you just keep on rubbing until it's all adhered to your project like you see how it just starts popping up right away like it does not take very much force to go ahead and get these to lay down and stick so there we go that is how our little rub on gets onto our glass isn't that super cute i think these are so so cute such a simple and easy little project look at that little skull right there in the bottom of the base oh that is so cool i don't even think i paid attention to that little detail before and you see she has like little bracelets even Look at those long little nails. Oh my gosh, they're so creepy. These are so cool. I am obsessed with these. If you find these in your store, definitely get more than one set. If you really like the images, because I fell in love with them. After I got them home and I started using them, I have been obsessed with using these. And I didn't get a bunch when I first saw them because I wasn't sure how they were going to work. I wasn't sure if it was going to be hard to use, if they were going to lay properly, you know, were they going to look all cracked or, you know, I didn't know. So I didn't grab a bunch when I first saw them. And now I'm on the hunt to find more because I'm in love with these. They lay down perfectly. They work really, really nice. So I'm super happy. Dollar Tree is stepping up their game this year for the craft section. Like, thank you, thank you to Dollar Tree. I am in love with the stuff that's come out this year. So this is our little project share for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.